Wambui Bahati here. Wambui made it. Today is cozy day. I guess you could describe a cozy as kind of like a sweater for your glass, your bottle, a little jacket. Keep your hand protected from the cold or the warm or just to give you a better grip on what it is that you desire to drink from. So right now, we're going to make a cozy. The key to making a really great cozy is having the right size loom. This loom has 20 pegs and this size peg, the 20 loom peg is ideal because what that allows you to do is to loom knit a tubular project, which is just the right size to slide over your typical bottle, your typical can, or your typical glass. So I recommend a loom with 20 pegs for this project. Now, let me tell you what we're going to do. We're going to start off with the E-wrap knit stitch. So we're going to cast on with the E-wrap. We're going to do one row of the E-wrap knit stitch, a row of pearl, a row of E-knit wrap stitch, and then a row of pearl. Then we're going to just E-wrap knit stitch for about an inch, inch and a half maybe. And then what I did is I added two rows of pearl. Now, these rows of pearl stitches are optional. You don't have to use them. I added them as decorative stitches, but you can just continue after you've done the, um, the alternated, the E-wrap stitch and the pearl stitch rows, you can just continue to E-wrap um, all the way until the end. Now, I wanna remind you, it's very important to start with the alternating e-wrap and knit stitch because we don't want our cozies to curl up on us. So we need to at least start off with four rows and alternate the e-wrap with the pearl, e-wrap with the pearl. And, at, and the same thing at the other end. So after we get to about four inches, then we're going to, again, do the pearl, the e-wrap, the pearl, the e-wrap, and then I'll show you how this was cast off. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. So we're going to take our yarn. However you make your loop, you make a loop. And we're going to put our loop on the anchor peg. The anchor pegs on the Cindy looms or sin looms look like flowers. And so what I'm going to do now is this is my first peg. I'm going to do an E-wrap, E-wrap, E-wrap. And I'm just going to go all around doing an E-wrap, not too tight, but not too loose either. Now, this is a good beginning, beginning loom knitters project. But if you're very, very new to loom knitting, then you might want to, um, I have a video called Loom Knitting for Beginners. And I go really slow and I kind of tell you everything you need to know to basically get started with loom knitting and you'll be up and loom knitting in no time at all. So we're doing our second row of E-wraps because in order to do the E-wrap knit stitch, we need two loops on each peg. And now we're coming back to our last peg and we have that working yarn. So of course we're gonna hold that until we get the last peg, the bottom loop on the last peg over the top one, because that's going to anchor that and uh, allow it not to come loose. And we can go on now and we're going to pull up and over all around. And we are loom knitting. And so we're just going to keep doing this until we um, finish this, go all the way back to the beginning of this to the, our first peg and then we're going to start our row of pearls. So I'm going to go ahead and go all around here until we start our pearl row. Okay, so we're almost there. It's only 20 pegs, so that's good. So up and over, up and over, and now we're ready to do our, our pearl row. And so we're going to take the working yarn and we're going to lay it across this first peg. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and see if I can take this off of the 
this anchor peg and that way it'll be out of our way if I can this kind of got stuck on there oh lord my yarn is oh my the, <laughs> the whole anchor peg came off okay <laughs> well okay that's one way to do it and so we're going to take the loop out and we're going to put this um, tail inside out of the way and we're going to start our pearl, our row of pearls. So we're going to just hold that tail out of the way for a minute and we're going to take the working yarn and we're going to lay it across our first peg and of course for a pearl we're going to go underneath and over that yarn and we're going to scooch that yarn up, take it everything off the peg and put the new loop back on. Same thing and we're going to do this all around for our pearl roll. So we're going to take everything off and put the new loop on. And so we're going to do this all around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back when it's time to do or we're at the point where we're going to do our next um, e-wrap row. So I'll see you then. Okay, I just did my last pearl and I'm about to start my second row of e-wraps, the e-wrap stitch. So I'm going to wrap this all around and we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to get back to our last peg and pull the bottom over the top so that that stays in place which allows us to go around lifting up the bottom over the top and again I'm going to go all around until we get back to our row of pearls so we're going to purl we have one more row of pearls to do and then we're just going to e-wrap and stitch do the e-wrap knit stitch for at least a couple of inches. So, all right, now we're back at our last peg and we're ready to do our pearl again. So lay the yarn across the peg, go underneath the top and scooch it up. And I'm gonna take that off and put the new loop on and scooch it up. And take it off and put the new one on. And so, again, I'll see you when we're ready to do our e-wraps again. Okay, finished my last pearl. And now I'm going to start the e-wrap again. So around my first peg, I'm going to wrap, wrap, and... I'm going to go ahead. Now, basically, all we're going to do now is we're going to do this e-wrap um, for about another inch and a half or until, I'll tell you how to tell where you are. Let me just get this here. So we got this row. I'm going to go ahead and do this bottom over top. Okay, bottom over top. Okay, so... Basically, we're just going to be doing this for the next inch and a half or so. And the way to tell is when you push this down and you can see about a half inch coming out of the bottom, then you're at the place where we want to do our decorative stitch if you want to do it. If not, what you're going to do is you're just going to continue to do the e-wrap stitch until you push this down and when you measure... You, you hold it at the at the top of the loom inside and when it measures four inches uh, that's when you're going to start doing the the knits uh, and the pearls on the other end so this is all we're going to do I'm going to come back when I'm about ready to do my decorative pearl stitches so all we're going to be doing right now is the e-wrap knit stitch which is this one right here okay so I will see you when I have 
when I can see my the bottom coming from underneath the loom for about an inch, okay? All right. So I've been uh, checking every time I make a round of e-knit stitches, I push everything down and to see if I can see about an inch, and I can, what we have here. And so this is at the point where if you want to do your decorative stitches, you can do them. So I want to do two rows of pearl. I'm gonna push everything back up because for pearls I need my, instead of everything down, I need everything up. So I'm gonna push it back up so that I can do the pearl, a row of pearls. I'm gonna do two rows of pearls. So here I am at my first peg right here. I'm gonna take my hook and of course the pearl, you go underneath, then you go over and you scooch it up and you take everything off and put the new loop on like that. And so we're going to do this. I'm gonna do two rows of this and then I'll be back. And we're gonna do some more e-wraps. And we're going to e-wrap until we're ready to finish it off, okay? So, all right, so I'll see you in a little while. <laughs> hey, this is my last pearl on the row of two pearls that I have done. And now I'm going to go back to the e-wrap. E-wrap, and we're going to just do this until what measures from here when we push it down. So you gotta keep an eye on it because you don't want your you don't want your cozy to be too long. Uh, so you're gonna keep measuring, you're gonna actually stick the measure, push it down, stick the measuring tape in, and you're gonna be looking, um, you don't want it to go past four inches, okay? So just keep going and pushing it down and try to keep it just before it hits past four inches. All right, so I'm gonna be e-wrapping and all we're doing is e-wrapping now and doing the e-wrap knit stitch and I will see you when my cozy is measuring just about four inches out of this end, okay? So every time you do a round, remember, every time you do a round and you're pushing your stitches down to make room for the next row of e-wraps, remember, when you push them down, you want to just take your tape measure, push it up, and just make sure that it's not past four. You do not want it to get past uh, four inches, okay? So just keep that in mind. Every time you push it down, kind of check it a little bit because it'll sneak up on you. All right. So I'm going to continue until I get to just that four inches where this is coming out and it's just four inches. So you're measuring, you're taking the tape measure and you're putting it up underneath the loom and you're holding it like in at the top of the loom and you're, you don't, you want to make sure that the cozy, the project that you're knitting doesn't go past four inches. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going and I'll see you when I'm just at four inches. I said, okay, so I'm pushing it down. I think we're just about there. And then I'm going to measure. Don't wanna to go too far past four. Just wanna to touch at four or a little less than four inches. So I'm gonna take my measuring tape, put it underneath. Uh, the loom and look we're at four so I'm gonna stop okay so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make this end pretty much the same as we did on this end so we've been doing e-wraps up till now what we're gonna do is a row of pearl then a row of knit a row of pearl and a row of knit and so the next row I'm gonna do is pearl so I'm gonna push the loops up for when I do pearls and so we're ready. I'm gonna do a row of pearls, lay it across, go underneath, go over and scooch it up. That wasn't good. <laughs> go underneath, go over and scooch it up. And we're gonna take this off and put the new one on top. 
and we're going to do this for the whole row. So I'll be back. Actually, I'm going to come back now when I'm doing my last row of knits. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, um, go ahead and I'm going to purl this row. I'm going to knit the next row and then I'm going to purl and then knit. So I'm going to come back when I'm about to knit because I think you all get the idea of how this goes. So what you're doing is you want the this end to look very much to the similar to this end. So we're doing the purl now, then we're going to do the knit, and then we're going to do a purl, and then we're going to do a knit. I'll be back when I'm ready to do my last row of knit. Okay, so recap after doing the E knit stitch all the way until we got to where this was measuring four inches. Then we decided we were going to do a, a similar thing on this end. So what I have done is I have done one row of knit, one row of purl, one row of knit, and this is my last row of knit that I am finishing up right here. So we're knitting that. Now we're pretty, now we're going to um, take this off the loom and to do that, the way this take takeoff works is we need a loom needle or a darning needle and we're going to take the yarn and we're going to wrap the yarn around maybe a few times and we're going to cut it. Okay. All right. So now we have our yarn. It's pretty much the way you would um, end if you were about to take a hat off a loom. And now we're going to thread our yarn needle. And okay, so we have our yarn needle threaded. What we're going to do now is we're going to go over here where our working yarn is on the loom. And we're going to go to the loom uh, loop beside it and we're, we're going to take the needle and we're going to go inside that groove because we want to go underneath we want to go underneath that yarn so we're going to put the needle and have the needle come out underneath and we're just going to pull it all the way through like that and then we're going to take our needle we're going to the one beside it you're going to go in that groove because that will help us to get underneath that yarn. We're going to go underneath that yarn and we're going to pull that thread through. And so we're just kind of, right, again, inside, underneath that. And we're going to pull it through. And we're going to do this all the way around. So we're just going to go underneath in the groove. Get the needle to come out the other side and we're going to pull that needle with the thread all the way through okay not too tight though but not too loose but not too tight okay just right okay so the needle in the groove underneath and pull it through and then i'm going to do one more and then i'll just catch you on the last one after this all right, so there we go, and we're going to go like that. Okay, okay, I'll do one more just to be sure. Okay, we got our needle. We're going to go to the next peg. We're going to take our needle, put it in the groove underneath. We're going underneath that yarn, and we're going to pull that yarn out like that. Okay, I'm going to see you when I'm just about ready to do my last one of these, okay? Okay, so I'm coming up on my last few. I'm going to take the needle underneath this one, bring the needle up, and pull the yarn all the way through. Again, put it in the groove. That just makes it easier for you to push the needle underneath that yarn and bring it through. And then we're going to do the same to this one. Bring the yarn up and through. 
and then we're going to do the same to this one so that everyone so that it's closed so we're going to go underneath and pull that yarn all the way through like that okay all right so now we've kind of just made a ring around here with this yarn and what we're going to do now is take our pick or our hook and we're going to just take them off there's no order because they're all going to just come off so we're just going to go around and lift everything off the loom doesn't matter if you start right or start left it doesn't matter because they're all coming off Okay, now that you have your cozy off the loom, keep this in mind. The part that we started with, that we cast on the loom with, we're gonna consider that the top of our cozy. And of course, the part we just took off with the yarn still attached and the darning needle hanging on, this will be considered the bottom. Now, because we cast off the way that we did, we have options we can make either one of two different types of cozies. For instance, here's our cozy that we just took off the loom. Here's my water bottle. I'm gonna slide the cozy onto my water bottle and we have a nice cozy with the bottom exposed. And of course, is this, if this is the kind of cozy that you would like, you would simply take the darning needle and make a little tack right there, a little whip stitch to hold that in place so the size doesn't change, so that it doesn't stretch out. Then you're gonna take it off, go inside and whip stitch it or darn it. And of course, it goes without saying, you would weave in the hanging yarns and cut them off. However, if you would like a cozy that also doubles as a coaster, here's what you're gonna do. Okay, so I'm gonna pull it down and we're going to take that yarn that's hanging off and we're going to pull it. It's like a drawstring and we have a little hole there, it makes a little hole. It draws into a little tiny hole. So you can decide how large or small you want the hole on the bottom to be. And then you would do the same thing. You would take this needle, make a little tack there to hold it in place, take it off, turn it inside out and then darn it till it stays in place. And of course, uh, weave in the yarn and cut off any strings. But what you've just done now is you've created a cozy coaster. So you have a coaster cozy, so you can protect your furniture with this. So just pull on that string, close it up, and uh, tack it in place so that it doesn't move. And you can always slide this on and off and you'll have a cozy coaster, coaster, cozy. <laughs> okay, I also wanna mention that you can embellish your cozies as much or as little as you want to. Your imagination can go wild. I embellish this one with a ribbon. You can change colors, add as many or as few decorative lines as you would like to. Of course, um, buttons, beads, Whatever you do, you can your imagination can just go wild with this. So I hope you enjoy your cozy, and I'm going to just drink to that. Well, there's nothing in here. <laughs>